The new emblem system in Pokemon Unite is kind of messed up and unfair to players, both veteran and newcomers to the game. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about why and why I think it's actually a massive issue that eventually people will realize is a problem, but it's going to take a while uh, just based strictly on probability for people to really kind of discover how truly inconvenient <laughs> and messed up this system is so i kind of want to talk about that today this is gonna kind of be like a long form video where i kind of just walk you through everything about this system and why it's really just problematic and why i hope they change um this in the future and just make these a little bit easier to get so first things first i'm just gonna start with an example build this will mainly apply to this build specifically that we're talking about but at the end of the day, uh, the probability for these emblems, the TLDR of it all, is they're pretty bad. And the amount of times a player has to even roll a chance to get any of these emblems is extremely, extremely infrequent. So let's look at the best build for physical attackers. That would be all critical hit strike emblems. Uh, each of these sand slash emblems gives a 1% crit chance in total. If you have 10 of these, you're going to have a build that gives you 10% critical strike chance, which is really, really good in this game. It, uh, is especially strong early game for physical attackers. Think junglers like Greninja, Cinderace, Decidueye, those types of characters. Uh, but pretty much anyone who wants to do critical hit damage is going to benefit from this type of loadout the most. Now, you may be thinking, okay, just got to put 10 emblems in here. It's not, unfortunately, that easy. Um, first, I want to talk about kind of how this system works in general. Um, there is a bronze, a silver, and a gold tier of emblem. You can see we're using Sand Slash as the main example here because this is kind of what we're focusing on for, this, for the sake of this video. Um, you can see that it gives one crit rate at the cost of... Minus three special attack, which for physical attackers, obviously, uh, those are the characters that can do critical hit damage and you don't really care about special attack because just how this game works, uh, only physical attackers really are worried about doing crit. So this is the ideal metal for physical attackers trying to do critical hit damage. Um, each of these emblems, uh, all these things that you see here, every single <laughs> emblem, there's about, there's about 90 of them here. Um, you can only earn these through the energy reward system. The energy reward system is basically a gotcha in Pokemon Unite, and you can earn free pulls uh, every week by just playing the game. And you can also kind of accelerate the earning of those pulls by paying AO's gems, which is the paid currency of Pokemon Unite. Uh, that allows you to earn up to, I believe, four times as fast as a normal player would. And also, uh, you can basically farm unlimited amounts of this energy by paying uh, more so than a free-to-play player. So a free-to-play player who's not really paying at all and who's only strictly using the a limited amount of energy that the game gives them per week is uh, is going to get 14 pulls per week on top of the seven pulls that they get for free every single day so in total per week a player who's not paying any aos gems can earn 21 of these energy reward pulls per week um so you know it's 21 times that you're getting an emblem you always get an emblem it's not like there's any chance to get anything else but uh, there are a lot of these emblems and frankly a lot of them are bad um, so you're really when you're pulling for these emblems you're really hoping for a specific result a lot of the time and that kind of brings us back to the sand slash emblem which is kind of the cream of the crop in terms of one of the best metals you can get obviously it depends on the type of character you play and some builds are easier to build with just normal bronze ones but for physical attackers and getting the critical hit ones, you definitely want all golds because you're obviously getting uh, about 0.4 crit rate chance uh, more if you have a gold versus if you had all bronze. With all bronze, you'd be getting 6% chance crit. With all golds, you're getting 10% like I talked about with this, our ideal build, right? So the issue <laughs> with this system is that... 
uh, 21 pulls a week is not enough. It's just straight up not enough. It's not enough to get anywhere close to the amount of emblems you will actually need in order to complete this build uh, of 10 golden sand slash emblems. You know, they, they look nice and pretty here. This is everyone's dream right now to be able to get this build. If you're not super familiar with Pokemon Unite, they did just add this system, so it's brand new. Um, but this is, this is kind of like the chase card of everything. This is the Charizard. This is the holographic Charizard of Pokemon Unite emblems right now. So, what is the percentage chance? <laughs> I'm sure you've been waiting to know. Uh, I mentioned, obviously, it was quite low. And I'm going to show you it here. So, I've kind of laid out the numbers for you. Uh, the ideal build is actually not 10 uh, gold sand slash. It's actually going to be 9 plus a gold sand true. Uh, this is going to allow you to get a uh, 1% attack bonus just through matching your emblems. I won't get into the details of that, but for those familiar with the system, you kind of know what I'm talking about. You match the orange with the orange, and you get plus 1% attack with a 1 sand true and 9 sand slash. But this is kind of the optimal crit chance build. So... The chance of getting any bronze emblem in Pokemon Unite is 88%. The chance of getting any silver emblem is 10%. And the chance to get a gold emblem of any type is 2%. Now, that goes for all of these emblems. There's over 90. I, I believe there's 99 right now in the game. So, you can imagine that, uh, you know, 2% spread across 99 different medals. Well, <laughs> it's pretty easy to do the math. That uh, the chance of getting a specific gold is actually 0.02% when you pull. Now, keep in mind that there are 52 weeks in a year, right? 52 weeks in a year, 21 pulls per week, okay? So, let's get our handy-dandy calculator out here. 52 times 21 is going to be what? 1,092. That's a, that's a lot of pulls, right? You can get 1,092 polls in this game if you log in every single day, use your free poll, and then you play the full amount required to earn uh, your 1,400 energy every single week of the year. That requires about, uh, I don't know, I'd say 25 to 30 games per week. That's actually quite a lot. I think uh, probably a, your typical casual player is not playing 30 games of Pokemon Unite per week. But for this purpose, we are going to say that you're you're <laughs> you're playing so much that uh, you don't want to spend any money, but you are you know earning the max amount that you can earn as a free to play player. That is 1,092 pulls per year. An entire year, you could be grinding the system, and you'll get uh, just over a thousand pulls, right? So again, it brings us back to this you know the dream build. The, the 10 golden emblems with the crit percent chance. This is what everyone wants. This is what you're shooting for when you're uh, pulling for the system. So, I have a cute little calculator here. Now, it's a little bit tough to exactly calculate the percentage chance of, you know, getting just golds. Because at the end of the day, you have a chance... Basically, all of these chances kind of work in your favor because Pokemon Unite does have a system that allows you to combine emblems. So, for example, if you get three of the Bronze Sand Slash, you will be able to combine them into a Silver Sand Slash by paying coins. And once you get three Silver Sand Slash, you will then be able to uh, combine those and go ahead and you'll get... Excuse me. You will get uh, one... Gold Sand Slash. So, ideally, you know, you'd get 81 Bronze Sand Slash. You would combine, combi uh, excuse me, combine those 81 Bronze Sand Slash into 27 Silver Sand Slash. <laughs> and combine those 27 Silver Sand Slash into 9 Gold Sand Slash emblems. And you would have your build complete. Easy enough, right? You know, 81 of these. Just under 1% chance. So... <laughs> I'm even going to give the game a little bit of mercy here. And I'm going to say, I'm going to combine all these chances. Okay? So, 0.88 plus 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 
plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.1, that is going to be a 1% chance. Let's just say there's a 1% chance for you to get any sand slash metal. And uh, we want nine of them, right? So let's go over here. We're going to put in, it's a 1% chance to, uh, to get... Uh, to get uh, to get a, a any sand slash metal bronze silver gold and how many do we want we actually want nine of them right so we want nine now get ready because this is gonna hurt as soon as I hit nine in here you're gonna see uh, basically the percentage chance for like what it would take for you to get nine of these emblems at, at a one percent chance how many poles would be required on this gotcha system in order to basically guarantee uh just about near guarantee that you would end up with nine sand slash metals of any kind again they might not necessarily be gold so you would actually need more unfortunately um but uh let's just say we didn't care about the we didn't care what grade it was you know we just wanted a bronze silver or gold in this case, it, on average, it's going to take us <laughs> 900 pulls to get nine sand slush emblems of any kind. Again, that is 900 pulls out of how many are we earning per year by playing consistently every week and opening the game every single day, all 365 days of the year. We are going to have just shy of 1.1k pulls. So left over, you know, on average, we would have 200 pulls left. That's not always the case. Um, this is an average number of pulls it would take. You could get super unlucky. And, you know, statistically speaking, you would reach 95% chance to have gotten nine by 1,400 pulls. So it's not even guaranteed. If your luck was, you know pretty below average you could end up pulling 1400 times and still not have nine sand slash medals not even necessarily gold sand slash medals but again we are calculating for the rate of any sand slash metal bronze silver or gold that's an issue right i hope you guys see that that's an issue i think it's i think i've made it pretty clear that after playing for an entire year there is a chance and it's actually, you know, you may fall in this 20 percentile, 20th percentile of people who who poll, you know, this is an 80 percent chance at this many polls. That's about how many we're getting per year. There's 20 percent of people on average are not even going to have polled nine sand slash emblems. Can you believe that? It's pretty crazy, right? It's pretty insane. So. Before I move on to the conclusion, I want to do a thought experiment, okay? Let's just say that we are uh, we're only going to, uh, you know, let's actually be merciful. Let's walk through a, a few a few situations. Uh, it's a it's a 0.88 percent chance to get a bronze sand slash, right? We want nine of them, um, right? Is this correct? Yeah, this is correct, right? So yeah, ideally we're looking for, yeah, the sand slash. So at a 0.88% chance, you know, we're looking for nine of them. We just want to fill up our bingo card. We don't care if it's gold. We don't care if it's silver. We don't care if it's bronze. Bronze is obviously the easiest to get. So to get nine of those, <laughs> we're looking at on average a thousand pulls. So if you play every day for the next year, Pokemon Unite, pull your pulls every, every day over the next year, you will more than likely... Uh, end up with nine sand slash medals that are bronze. So that's pretty cool, right? So, bef uh, again, before I move on, I just want to do a quick test. Uh, <laughs> actually, you know, it's funny. Uh, let's just do this actually real quick. So nine bronze, right? So I said I mentioned before you'd actually need 81 bronze sand slash to combine into 27 silver, to combine into nine gold. So basically multiply this by nine because this would get 81. This calculator doesn't let me put 81 in. Unfortunately, it's only maxed out at 10 because, oh, we've broken it. We have broken the calculator. Don't worry, guys. It'll be fine. But I mean, basically what it comes down to 
is it's a uh, it's a 0.88 percent chance to get nine and then basically we're taking this number we're multiplying it by nine right so that would give us 81 here so on average it would take 9,200 pulls on the gotcha system in Pokemon Unite to get uh, this. To get this, guaranteed. Pretty much guaranteed. Actually, it's not guaranteed. It's an average, right? <laughs> so you may fall in this category. You may fall in this category. Let's not even talk about it. We're talking about strictly averages right now. So that's, uh, what is that? That's just shy of uh, eight years, probably. Divided by 1092. Yeah, so this is going to be uh, eight and a half years of playing every single day, logging in every single day, doing your thing. Eight and a half years required to uh, to get it with just bronze medals. So anyway, interesting thought experiment there, right? It's pretty clear that the gotcha rates are bad, obviously. And given the fact that certain builds require golds, the maximum rarity of the exact same emblem, it really makes for an unfortunate system that, you know, could be having you grind for multiple years of this game and not actually ending up with the result that you want, which is this. It's very unfortunate. So, my closing thoughts are this. The rates are very bad. We need more frequent energy rewards. That's an option. Uh, just like a greater quantity. Or, you know, improve the rates or both. I think both is honestly fitting here. I think... Pokemon United is a very casual game, and a system like this is very harmful to new players joining the game. Um, if you guys saw my previous video, you saw that, you know, I had a ton of energy rewards saved up. I actually had, you know, almost a year's worth saved up. I had almost 800 uh, saved up, and that's, you know, that's from multiple weeks of, of playing, from grinding, from getting the rewards... You know, the game sometimes gives you bonus energy tanks. So you're able to earn more per week. However, it's an issue, right? It's an issue because you can only earn a set amount per week of these energy rewards to pull on these emblems. And unless you're a player like me who saved up 800 energy rewards just because I thought it was a cool thing to do. And thankfully, I got lucky that, you know... I didn't spend them on the clothing items that are use, uh, useless. You know, unless you're that player, of which I really don't feel like that there are very many, unless you're that player, this system hurts you severely because you're really only getting about this many polls per week. I mean, it's less than 30 polls per week. You can do 30 per day because what the system <laughs> is, is wanting you to do, what the system is wanting you to do is to spend money. At the end of the day, it's wanting you to spend money because this 21 pulls per week can be turned into um, basically unlimited amount of pulls per week by spending more. You can get a four times energy tank. You can expand your energy reserves so that you can basically play unlimitedly. You can keep buying these things. This is um, these cost 200 gems. Uh, this the unlimited uh, boosts also cost 200 gems. So every time you're wanting to, you know, earn more rewards uh, outside of the free 1400 energy that you're getting per week, you're dropping, you're dropping anywhere from 250 to 400 gems. There is an option that isn't the four times that just lets you earn um, an additional one times energy rewards, and that only costs 50 gems. So that is, you know, that's an option as well. The one times one is 50 gems. Hopefully that's clear. I mean, if you play the game, you know what I'm talking about. Obviously, this video is geared towards people playing the game. So you guys know what these items are. They are very rarely given out in events, but they are sometimes given. But otherwise, you are, you know, the game is expecting you to fork up some gems, which, as I mentioned, cost real life money in order to access the, the, the gems currency. So it's unfortunate, you guys. I think this whole rune slash, like bonus customization and build system is a really cool idea for Pokemon Unite. I think it adds a lot of creativity. We've seen a lot of really neat builds. I post a lot on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, by the way, for some really cool builds that, you know, don't require all golds. But if you're a physical attacker main, you need this crit percent chance and you're going to eventually want to have something that looks like this that is all gold emblems. 
with the 1% chance for crit on each one. And the best one is Sandslash. And you know, there is obviously a chance to get other ones that give crit percent chance. But all emblems are not created equal. For example, if you go to uh, here, I think, uh, let's see. There's, there's, yeah, I mean, you're losing defense here. If you got the Meowth emblem, losing defense with Persian. You're losing HP with Farfetch. It's a very important stat to have in this game. Um, these are the emblems that give positive crit rate. And it's just, you know, you may end up eventually over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of poles getting enough to have all gold of something. It's definitely not going to be all sand slash, but, you know, eventually you may get a gold far fetched. You may get lucky, get a gold meowth, one gold sand slash here and there. You mix and match, right? But to actually get the optimal builds, we're talking crazy percentage amounts of chance. And to even get the suboptimal builds where you're mixing in a gold Meowth, a gold Persian, a gold Farfetch, you're still talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pulls. I would estimate that, you know, probably like 2,000. And again, if we go back to this number, if you're a free-to-play player, you're only getting 1.1k pulls per year if you're playing every single day, logging into the game every single day using your free poll. Expanding your energy every single week, making sure you don't let any go to waste because, again, this energy doesn't stack up. It resets at the beginning of the week. Any energy that you didn't use, you lose. And that's a very, it's a very predatory system because it not only makes you feel like you have to pay to get more when you're playing a lot, but it also makes you feel like a responsibility to come play the game because, oh my gosh, I need to use my energy if I don't use my energy, then it's going to reset on Monday, server reset, every uh, when the weekly reset happens. Or, sorry, Sunday, uh, for, for my time zone at least. Uh, but I think it's Monday UTC at midnight. So anyway, that is the issue. That is, the I think, the biggest issue with this emblem system. It's very cool. I think most people you know, will eventually learn how to use it properly. Um, I... You guys mentioned that you want some guides on how to how to kind of make the optimal builds, and I will I will for sure put that out. But I wanted to put out my thoughts here after um, my previous video, which was me polling 150 times on these energy rewards and ex ex <laughs> using a lot of those polls. And uh, guess what I got out of it? Out of 150 polls, I got one bronze sand slash. Didn't get a silver sand slash. Didn't get a gold sand slash. Didn't actually get any gold crit emblem. Didn't get a gold sand shrew, meowth, Persian, or farfetched. I didn't get any of these gold. I didn't even get any of these silver. I only got them as bronze tier. So it's basically impossible to, and I mean, unless you're playing for eight years, which <laughs> isn't this enough said? I'm pretty sure I can just end the video with this number. <laughs> it's unfortunate, you guys. I mean, everyone wants this build, but the sad reality is that I don't think many people are ever going to get something like this. There will maybe be a small, small, like 0.00001% of the player base that gets super lucky, gets something like this in their account just due to sheer dumb luck. Uh, pulling a ton of sand slash and all these crit emblems randomly, but getting something like this is just frankly out of reach for almost all players. And to implement a system like that is pretty worrying for me. And I hope that they fix this. Hopefully, this was educational for you guys. I hope I explained things enough. If you have any questions about this further, about things that I didn't explain, let me just look at my notes. Uh, yeah, I brought up the whole new players issue. I mean, yeah, if you're a new player coming to join the game for the first time, you're really only getting this many polls per week, 21 polls per week. The reality is you're never, you're never going to get close to anything like this build right here. And it's, it's unfortunate. I, I mean, I'm probably not going to get close to anything like this because I, I mean, frankly, I don't play enough to use the 1400 energy per week. So once I'm out of my saved up polls, it's. I'm just going to be slow earning them like everyone else, like the new players, like the veteran players, like pretty much everyone. And I mean, the fact of the matter is I'm not going to get something like this, even with my, I think I have like 700 left or so of the polls. 
It's just not gonna happen, guys. Um, you see these chances, they're really, really bad. Again, these are averages. You could get even worse luck. Uh, I hope this made sense. I hope this, uh, you know, I hope this worries you guys because this is an important thing to uh, vocalize as players. There is a survey currently in the game. So I definitely highly recommend that uh, you guys make your voice heard in the game survey. Doesn't take too long. Um, and uh, you know what? I'll actually link the link to the survey below. So if you're on your phone, you're on your computer, you can take the survey on desktop. So you don't have to like, you know, type it on Switch and stuff. I'll actually leave the link to the survey that, that comes directly from the game. Or if you want to go to the survey yourself, you can just go to the game. It'll give you a QR code and you can get the link from there. Um, but yeah, make your voice heard, guys. I think we really uh, need to see a change to the system. I, perhaps it was rushed a little too fast, or they just really, really wanted people to, you know, start spending gems to be able to earn energy rewards faster and subsequently earn their golden sand slash beautiful, perfect build faster. It is the unfortunate reality of it, and uh, I hate to report it, but, you know... This channel has always about has always been about reporting the uh, the facts, the statistics, the data, the numbers of Pokemon Unite. That hasn't always necessarily been about the gotcha. It's always been about you know game mechanics, but this uh, directly affects the game and the gameplay mechanics of it, uh, even in the ranked modes, right? So it's important to talk about. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did. Let me you know again if you have any questions below. I'll be happy to answer. I know pretty much everything about the system by now. So, again, if I didn't address anything in this video, uh, let me know. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for your time. And, yeah, uh, definitely leave a like. Subscribe for more Pokemon Unite content in the future. Again, like I mentioned, I'll be uh, coming out with some more emblem builds, explaining kind of my thought process on how I build with all these different emblems and uh, what you can do to kind of uh, min-max your different builds. Not necessarily just for crit. You know, this is a very basic one. But there are definitely uh, more little intricacies and fun things that we'll go over in future videos. So I appreciate you guys' uh, time. And again, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.